Um, well, we, we, we talked about this a, a, a lot this morning um, because there was a kind of sort of Twitter feeding frenzy last night of, of trying to, uh, I think, provoke people to, prevent, to, to, to print more and more offensive material. Um, and uh, actually, we did print about uh, four or five, uh, either uh, digitally or in the paper, four or five of the images from Charlie Hebdo uh, last night and, and this morning. And that wasn't enough for some people. Some people were tweeting me saying, yeah, but you haven't chosen the really offensive one. Uh, and then they wanted to choose a still more offensive one. And, and there are some very offensive ones that, that The Guardian would never in the normal uh, run of events uh, publish. And this was a, a replay <coughs> of the, the debate over the Danish cartoons. And I, I didn't want to republish some of the Danish cartoons because The Guardian is The Guardian. And the, the Danish the newspaper is the, is the Danish newspaper. And Charlie Hebdo is... <laughs> so I, I, we completely uh, defend Charlie Hebdo's uh, ethos and, and, and values and the right to offend in the way that they did. Um, but it felt to me that there was a, a sort of tokenism in, in demanding that The Guardian should change, and I take Sonny's point here, that I think the, the thing that is important that we don't change as a result. If, if they want us to change and they want us to be more inflammatory uh, and to contribute to the hardening of attitudes in society, I think one of the things The Guardian can do is not change and, and uh, apply its normal editorial values uh, as to what we should publish, and we will carry on publishing Steve uh, and Martin, uh, and that was the decision that we reached uh, collectively as a, as a paper this morning, having discussed it. But the one thing uh, Natalie uh, uh, said this morning at the, the conference was the the feeling that, that this was an attack that that so many, and it was so deliberate to have chosen this time of day to go in and and, and kill the people at the editorial meeting on their on their press day, that this was an attempt to put this paper out of business. Uh, and I think a, a more vital thing, Tim, is, is that we make sure that Charlie Hebdo comes out next week, and the week after that, and the week after that. Uh, and I think we ought to think of practical steps. And I know a lot of people here tonight and people who couldn't get in tonight uh, said, well, what can we practically do? And, and, and Natalie's one, one suggestion from Natalie was that, that people should take out a subscription. Uh, to Charlie Hebdo so that it has the funds. The Guardian Media Group has tonight given £100,000 uh, to Charlie Hebdo uh, to help sustain publication. I think Google has given $250,000. Uh, and I think there are things that one can practically do uh, that, that, will, that would mean that this is not a publication that is, uh, is going to be wiped out by this act.